much as possible. Uh, Steve Big was the leader of the Black Consciousness Movement within the, within and an country. author. He was detained and tortured by the apartheid police in 1977 and later died after suffering brain damage. He was 30. The foundation keeping his legacy alive says young people can learn a lot from Biko. Biko has a particular appeal because he relates to young people. I mean, he was 30 years old when he died. Many of the writings from I Write What I Like were from his you know, university years and even earlier. And so I think it says to young people that they really can do something to change their own destiny and ultimately the destiny of the nation. To commemorate his life, special events will be held countrywide. The Biko Annual Lecture will be delivered by renowned African poet and novelist, Professor Ben Okri. His work tends to focus on issues of culture, identity, heritage, and how those things relate to de the development agenda. So he is very much in the tradition of Steve Biko. A Biko Multipurpose Center will be officially opened this month in King Williamstown in the Eastern Cape. To explore